What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to compare the Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Sony Xperia Z2. This video is actually only for the potential buyers that are sitting on the fence and they are going to decide whether you should, they should buy the S5 or the Sony Xperia Z2. So if you are a owner of either device then I will advise you to stay away from this video and don't watch this video because you might not like what I'm going to discuss. So these are the characteristics that I'm going to compare and let's look at one by one. Let's look at the design, build quality and the quality of materials. When I compare these two devices then hands down Sony Xperia Z2 is the winner here because not only the design looks uh, better as compared to the S5 but also the build material is better because uh, any day I will uh, take glass or metal over a plastic especially the plastic which is which feels actually as cheap as the S5 plastic because it's flimsy it is better than before and it is very well made as compared to the previous uh, generation of Galaxy S series but it's still no way near than the Z2 and you can decide for yourself from uh, such uh, footage which one is uh, more premium and which one feels well built. They say that the beauty is a relative term but when we consider these two devices I don't think uh, it is a relative term come on it's pretty obvious. As far as the ergonomics are concerned then the in-hand feel is actually better in case of S5 because it is actually smaller than the Z2 in terms of overall size although the screen is not that much smaller but since it's curved and uh, lighter so it feels better in hand but in terms of uh, actually the buttons layout both are pretty good and pretty nice to use. However, the Z2 have a camera shutter button which is actually a very nice addition. I do not like the flaps on both these devices. I understand they are putting it for waterproofing reasons but the waterproofing can be done without that. And Z2 is also fingerprint magnet and it's very reflective as compared to S5 which is uh, very less reflective and the dimpled back and the soft touch uh, finish feels uh, better than the previous uh, Galaxy S series. It reminds me of the original Nexus 7 and I feel that the ergonomics are a little bit better on S5 although the capacitive buttons are actually very easy to press and at times it's annoying. Next up is the display and as far as the display is concerned both devices have gorgeous big display, saturated colors and uh, very bright screen however i give as to s5 because of the brightness sunlight visibility and as well as the accuracy of the colors which is uh, better than the z2 z2 is little bit oversaturated screen if you like to compare the sunlight visibility and as well as the colors uh, accuracy then watch my video for this purpose the link is in the description as well as on the screen. Next up is the camera and it is the strong point of both devices and in the daylight it's very difficult to separate the two devices. Although I feel the Z2 colors are little bit more natural as compared to S5 and also S5 photos are little bit over sharpened. But most people I believe will like the S5 photos in the daylight. In the low light it's a different story and the Z2 will produce much nicer photos in low light. Both devices make a 4K video from the back camera and uh, people will like probably the oversaturated colors of uh, S5 and the over sharpened video. But if you like a better video, I believe the Z2 is a better video as far as the 4K is concerned because it has proper stabilization and more natural colors. So I believe in the camera department, Z2 is a win. As far as the user interface design is concerned, then I believe the Sony Xperia Z2 is a winner hands down because it has more closer look to the stock Android which obviously feels uh, and looks nicer than the TouchWiz skin on the Samsung Galaxy S5. The TouchWiz skin feels a little old and outdated 
Samsung actually tried to revamp the touch face a little bit on S5 but it doesn't work because it looks half baked and they need to actually start from the scratch. As far as the user interface features are concerned then it is hard to pick a winner here because both devices actually offer tons of features and Samsung Galaxy S5 is actually a little bit offering more. It depends on you whether you think those features are valuable to you or not but the reality is S5 actually feels a little bit more uh, feature. It has multi window, it has a toolbox which actually you can uh, edit and put some shortcut to quickly access certain apps and it has the private mode as well which will actually allow you to hide your uh, photos documents from unauthorized access you can increase the touch sensitivity of your screen you can uh, change the saturation of the colors of the screen which is also very nice and there are so many other tons of features like one-handed operation there are so many air gesture and as well as the motion gestures. I can't even list all of these features because there are so many features. It has uh, air view, it has the smart state, it has smart pause, it has S voice, so many things. On the other hand, Z2 also has uh, most of these features. It has small apps, it has the type of uh, smart stay as well, it has the uh, you can say the white balance controls, it has the accept and reject call, it has built-in built in, uh, answering machine, it has the hearing aids capability, it has white balance control and so many other things. But I still believe S5 is a winner here. As far as the sound is concerned then once again I believe the Z2 is winner here because of the dual front speaker, one is on the top, one is at, at the bottom and when you are actually holding your device in landscape and watching a movie or playing a game it sounds very nice and the stereo speaker works very well on the other hand s5 only has one speaker and it is even at the back and it does not sound very loud because of that reason and also it sounds tinny as far as the battery life is concerned then again the z2 is hands down winner because it will last uh, two days if you are a light or moderate user and also it will give you six to eight hour screen time depending on your use whereas s5 will give you five to six hour screen on time as far as the multimedia is concerned the default apps on sony xperia z2 is more polished and uh, works uh, really well it uh, does not actually support used to support uh, all the codecs but since the latest release it does actually support the uh, latest codecs there is also sony store available if you want you can rent the movies as well and the good thing is the movie app actually download the album arts and the subtitles automatically even if you have your own movie same can be said about the music app you can actually download the album art as well as the lyrics and other sound info and you can also edit the music info as well and uh, i feel that the z2 default apps are better than the samsung galaxy s5 apps the samsung galaxy s5 apps also provide uh, most of the functionality and uh, it has the motion gesture as well for example if you tilt your uh, phone it will pause the song and also if you look away it will smart pause the video but uh, i think that uh, in terms of uh, overall usage the z2 apps are better and i will prefer to use the z2 apps looks more polished than the s5 apps on the other hand actually s5 uh, offers you the group play features and if you have multiple samsung devices or your friend also has the samsung device then they can be really useful as far as the performance is concerned then S5 at times actually disappoints little bit because the scrolling at times is not smooth uh, for example you can see in the Google Plus app at times it struggles and uh, also on the Facebook app and if you use the S Health app if you tap that app and it takes actually few seconds to launch that S Health app and sometimes it uh, gets a little bit uh, more time 
and uh, even when i'm loading this app switching the apps it feels that i'm little bit uh, waiting for the device however the web browsing works uh, pretty well on s5 there is actually no lag in pinch uh, to zoom and as well as scrolling on the other hand the z2 performance is uh, better than s5 in terms of scrolling and also app loading as well even the z2 is not perfect and and i have seen uh, better performance than this so i will uh, give the performance term to z2 although on paper z2 has a slightly slower processor than the s5 and it has 1 gb more ram but i think it has to do with the software actually the s5 uh, has a very heavy software and also it depends how you tweak or uh, set up your uh, device as a manufacturer as far as the gaming is concerned then uh, let me tell you that when i initially bought the s5 i was little bit uh, disappointed as you can see on your screen the dead tracker 2 used to run not as smooth as it should but uh, since uh, the last update thanks to the last update and as you can see now it runs very smooth no issues whatsoever but on the other hand the z2 also seems to run the game similarly smooth so i don't see any difference in performance or uh, as far as the gaming is concerned between the two devices which is kind of surprising because I believe the S5 should be doing a better job because on paper it has a slightly faster processor and also slightly faster GPU as well which is important for the gaming. But I don't see much difference or any difference in the gaming in the practical use. So I consider this round as a draw. As far as the additional features are concerned then the Samsung Galaxy S5 seems to have a slightly better dust proof rating and on the other hand the Z2 seems to have slightly better waterproof rating. So I will advise if you want to take your phone to the water then Z2 is a better choice. Since both phones are uh, kind of waterproof so they require flaps to cover the ports which is a kind of bummer when you have to charge your device but both uh, phones actually offer the back cover or either a case to charge the device wirelessly but the problem is these cases are expensive z2 here once again has one leg up that they provide the dock separately for the charging and also Z2 has the noise cancelling headphones which is uh, very nice and the quality of the sound is pretty good although S5 headphones are also not bad. Both phones have uh, health features as well and uh, Z2 actually offers life log and the uh, S5 offers S health but S health goes little bit further that uh, not only you can uh, log your exercises just like the life log but also you can uh, check the heart rate using your uh, finger on the heart rate sensor samsung galaxy s5 has download booster which is very nice which is basically combining your uh, wi-fi and lte network to download a certain file s5 also provides the fingerprint uh, sensor to unlock your device and also for the paypal payments so this round goes to s5 as far as the call quality is concerned both devices works uh, similarly and uh, callers on either side will not have any complaints but nothing special as well and also the loudspeaker is not very loud on either one of them but most people will be happy with both devices so guys this was a comprehensive comparison between the s5 and z2 and since Z2 has uh, won most of the rounds, so I believe Z2 is a winner here and it is a better device out of the two. So guys, I hope that you have liked the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.